this video is to uh, illustrate how to remove uh, the OEM bearings uh, from the Scorpion 3226 900 kV. This is a 32. 26 series motor. This is a replacement to the 3026 series um, last year. This is the new model. Um, this particular uh, motor is for uh, Kodos 500 and T-Rex 500 models. But this particular uh, motor is in my Kodos 500. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the upper and lower bearing with uh, these Volca ceramic bearings. These are the AVEX 7 high speed orange steel bearings uh, from Volca Bearing and they've sponsored this video. Um, so uh, once again I'd like to thank Volca Bearing for doing so. So basically uh, the tools that were needed were uh, some metric uh, X drivers have a set of, uh, of Allen wrenches uh, of various sizes uh, just in case I need them and what I'd recommend is a snap ring pliers to remove the, the, uh, the snap ring to hold the motor uh, case to the shaft and also on the uh, photos there's one that holds to the uh, on the uh, shaft adapter. So I've already removed the one for the motor itself, which sits right on that little, the little notch in the shaft. And I'm going to show you how you use these. If any of you are not familiar with them, they're pretty simple. Uh, you simply place them in between the snap ring and just push up. My hands are kind of big, but anyway, there you go. Just like that. It's that easy. And it removes the snap ring. And then you could pull the, uh, the one-way bearing off. In this case, the, uh, the lower bearing is still on there. It sits right inside, recesses in there, and that's the other upper bearing. And then you can see the needle bearings in the one-way uh, uh, pinion. This is how it reacts. Anyway, so that's that's how that goes. With that removed, uh, you can easily just pull the can apart, and you can see the lower bearing and the upper bearing. Um, you can also you can give a quick visual inspection of the inside of your motor, uh, the can itself. Make sure there's no debris, any metal shavings or whatnot that it might be in there. And if there is, uh, you need to inspect your motor and make sure you might have to replace it. Um, if not, just get any hair, dust, or anything out of there, clean it up. Uh, take note that inside the can itself, there's some epoxy that might be one or two or maybe even up to four or five um, in between each magnet. You don't remove those. That's for um, balancing. So those have to stay in there. So anyway, that's that. This casing, particular casing, looks good. So I'm going to leave that be. Uh, to remove the bearings, it's quite simple. You simply take one of your drivers and you set it in there and you catch you could catch the top of that bearing, just the out the inner ring. A couple of firm taps and the bearing will pop right out. And what you're catching is not actually the inner race, but just the inner rim of the bearing itself. And it just pops right out. And you can see them as they're in there uh, where they sit. And I use a, a broader tip on the uh, bearing itself so I don't do any damage to the inner race. But again, uh, a couple of taps and oh, there it goes and the bearing goes out. It's that simple. Uh, to replace them, it's just the opposite. You set the bearings in. The one thing I want to note to uh, 
everybody who's using the Proto so it uses the, the uh, 3026 880 KV and you're going up to a 3226 900 this lower bearing on the 880 the 3026 880 is 4 millimeters in depth whereas the new one is 5 millimeters in depth so that's a major difference um, you can't use the 880 motor bearing so the first thing you want to do is take a clean Q-tip clean around the inner the inner casing make sure it's nice and clean do the same on this one install the bearing make sure it's flush it's not um, sitting at an angle because that's going to create problems for you um, once it's on there flush simply can tap the bearing down and it seats right in there and then I'll show you how I, how I seat it flush. But that one pretty much is a push down flush fit. Then I take a, um, what I have here is a one-way bearing tool removal, uh, removal tool and I set that on there and it meets exactly the same width uh, diameter, outside diameter is bearing. So a couple nice little easy taps. Nothing heavy. Um, and there it is, nice and flush. Uh, bearing is installed. It's that simple. Um, nothing more, nothing less. So you don't really have to beat this thing up. Scorpion's done a great job with their milling and their, um, and their product, so you really won't run into anything that's not, uh, doesn't fit correctly. Everything fits right on the dime. So, uh, with that, a quick cleaning. Uh, just make sure there's no debris. Nothing left in there. Be careful, take care when you join these two together that your fingers are not, or your ends of your fingers are not in that can. This thing's got some serious, as you see right there, that's some serious magnetic uh, pull to it. So, nice and free. I like the way that feels. Um, so there we go. So now we have that set up and we are ready to install our, uh, our snap ring on top to keep it. Then we will install our shaft, pinion shaft adapter on that once it's on the motor and we're good to go. And I can't wait to see what happens here on the next one. But anyway, this is the Scorpion 3226. That's how fast these bearings can be installed and removed. Um, there's actually no no special engineering that needs to be done. But that thing feels super smooth. I wish you guys could feel that. That's, that is smooth. That's amazing. Um, next part I'll show is, is how to uh, reinstall this back on. Basically, this entire helicopter will be outfitted with both the ceramic bearings from the main shaft to the tail shaft, uh, the idle pulleys, uh, as well as the uh, main blade grips and the tail grips. Uh, everything will be outfitted with uh, the correct ceramic bearings, not necessarily the orange seal but there will be some high speed ceramic bearings. Uh, mainly the motor and the pinion itself, uh, the pinion bearing that goes in there, and the idle pulley bearings, I feel need to have the high speed orange steel bearings. Uh, the other ones can be the, the, um, the metal case, um, stainless steel casing, uh, ceramic bearings. Um, but because of the high RPM that this receives, this motor spins, and the idle pulleys, 
those need to have um, what I I consider to have they need to have a higher tolerance than it's. so um, again um, thanks for watching I hope this helps and I look forward to making the other video thanks